Wednesday has arrived, and uh, we're here to say hi to the ladies of stand-up comedy. So let's do it. Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am, of course, Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. And we are back with you again today for another reaction video. <clears throat> and on this uh, Women's Wednesday of stand-up comedy that we're getting into again today. Get out my face and lip. <laughs> we're going to get into another one from Ali Wong today. Okay. Well, um, <clears throat> I have uh, very much enjoyed everything that I've heard from Ali Wong so far. I mean, she does have some uh, idiotic female things that get on my nerves a little bit, just like every woman does, just like every man does to a woman. But uh, yeah, man, she's a very funny woman, and I'm very uh, happy to get to her again today. So yes, this one is going to be titled... <laughs> oh, jeez, now I remember again why I picked this one. Okay, let me try it again. The title of this one is going to be Keeping Your Taco Intact. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh my goodness, man. This is why this woman is so funny, you know what I mean? Like, I, I love female stand-up comedy that, that, that gets to me, obviously. But, um, yeah, man, it's just very funny how uh, she always attacks certain issues, you know? She knows what she's doing. And uh, yeah, we're going to see what she's talking about with this one. So let's go ahead and get into it. Ali Wong with uh, Keeping Your Taco Intact. And if you like this reaction, please boom on the like button for me one time. Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and uh, leave a nice comment for your boy. Constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or a request. And uh, throw a couple zingers at your boy. Friendly dialogue, no drama here. All right, and let's keep it that way. So, uh, yeah, man, uh, another day here on Women's Wednesday and another day off for you, boy, you know. My schedule is kind of weird, you know, but hey, man, I don't mind it. I like when I'm there and uh, it tires me out, and I like when I'm home and I'm getting my strength back. All right, so let's see what our strength being back with us is uh, getting our ears into today. <laughs> I know, kind of paused there a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Ali Wong with uh, Keeping Your Taco Intact. <laughs> Right here on Eddie B TV, Women's Wednesday at Stand Up, y'all. Let's get back to it. <clears throat> oh, on me every time. Okay. All right, all right. Let's get situated with this one here, and here we go. I mean, one of my best friends, God bless her, she was in labor for 72 hours. The baby's head kept on going in and out and in and out and in and out. <laughs> and then she still had to have an emergency C-section. Before that shit went down, my friend was the kindest, <laughs> most polite, dainty lady who would never burp in front of anybody. Okay. After that shit went down, she became the most bitter, nasty, raw ass bitch I have ever met in my life. Oof. I went to her house to pay her a visit. Shortly after, she opens the door. Look at my pussy, Allie, look at this shit. Look at this! Okay. No, hello, Allie. Welcome, come meet my beautiful new baby. No, just, come on, you look at this shit! <laughs> with the door open in front of the entire cul-de-sac to see. Oh, Come okay. out! Okay, that's anger right there. <clears throat> and her pussy looked crazy! <laughs> it looked cuckoo <laughs> for cuckoo puffs. <laughs> when I saw it, I was like... <gasps> <laughs> because her pussy straight up looked like two hanging dicks side by side. Whoa. Whoa. In the process of giving birth to one baby girl, my friend became two dudes. <laughs> you could French braid that shit. It was like a Star oh. Wars monster. Oh. Yikes. I mean, women were not accustomed to seeing each other's pussies in the first place. It's not like men at the urinal where you're like, hey, what's up, dude? What's going on? You holding your dicks in your hands in front of each other. We're, 
We're never just like going to the bathroom. What's up, girl? Holding our pussies. It's casual. I like your manicure. <sighs> wow. <laughs> I told I told her that she had turned into two dudes. <laughs> and she started laughing. <laughs> But then she started to get also extremely upset. And she was like, please, do not make me laugh. Do not make me laugh. And then with one hand, she had to grab a pillow and press it against her C-section scar. And then with the other hand, she had to pinch the dicks together oh. to make sure that the carne asada wouldn't fall out of the taco. Oh my God. <laughs> and become nachos on the floor. <laughs> oh, that's gross. You see, this is why women need maternity leave. <laughs> yeah. You better pay our ass too. My friend couldn't go back to work with her meat curtains dragging on the floor. Meat like the curtains. train of a sad ass wedding dress. You can't litigate like that. <laughs> Ain't no Spanx gonna tuck that shit in. Uh. <sighs> <sighs> I told her all of that too, and she started laughing more. <laughs> and it was, you know, she was like, she was, she was pinching and she was pressing and repressing the laughter, and it got to be too much. And then all of this gas gurgled up in her system and she let out this fat ass queef that dried out my eyeballs. I was like, ah! 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 Oh no. Woo, that is nuts. <laughs> That's the end of that one, huh? Woo, okay. Ladies, okay, I get it. I feel, well, I don't literally feel your pain, but I sympathize with you. Trust me, I do. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, the miracle, miracle of childbirth, right? <laughs> yeah, give me a break. <laughs> All right, y'all, that was Ali Wong with keeping your taco intact. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think her friend kept it intact, man. I don't even know what it's like today. I don't want to know. <laughs> well, I'll say this, man. You know, I, I have um, known a lot of women in my life that have gone through childbirth, obviously. And uh, there's always uh, <clears throat> some stories that are different, but also some parts of their stories being different that kind of remain the same a little bit. You know, um... <laughs> One thing, I will say this, um, my mom might get pissed off at me for saying this, but I don't care. Um, when she had her last kid, you know, my, my little sister Katie, uh, she told the story about how she had to have a C-section. She had to have staples in her C-section scar and all that stuff. It, it was pretty bad, you know. And she almost died giving birth to my little sister. And it, it was just always like one of those horror stories, but you still have to tell them because, you know, it's, it gives you, you know, creates a little bit of sympathy for you, you know, and uh, my mom is the the queen of um, hunting for attention from people, and it's just how she is, you know, I mean, it's whatever, but um, it's actually part of the reason that I love my mom, you know, it's also part of the reason I can't stand her sometimes either, but, you know, I, I, I've always said this before, that I don't have sympathy for women in general, you know what I mean, because it's always like this non-stop you know what I mean, um, hunting for attention and sympathy and all that, and it gets to be a little old sometimes, but I do have sympathy for, you know, an individual who will go through something horrific, like what she said her friend went, uh, went through, because, like, I don't imagine that that's fun to deal with. I mean, 
to to have a baby almost come out the natural way, you know, a, a bunch of times, and then it still end up not going down that way, I imagine that would just be the biggest, oh my God, I'm so pissed off moments of all time combined with all the pain and then all the stuff that happens afterwards. It's like, I'm not a woman. I can't have kids. So obviously I will never know what that feels like. But it's a crazy trippy story, you know? But um, when she said that she used to be kind and all that dainty, what she said, and then all of a sudden it turns into that, yeah, that's what childbirth will do to some women, you know, uh, a lot of them actually, uh, combined with things like postpartum depression and then, you know I mean, not being able to get, you know, your body back into the shape it once was before. And <clears throat> for me, the lack of sympathy comes from like, okay, look, if you have kids, hopefully you got a man that stays with you. Uh, hopefully, you know, with the times we live in now, it's kind of like a, you know, 50-50 thing. And uh, if you don't, then, oh man, it's going to be slim pickings for the man you can get later on. It's just a shit show, man. I always uh, hate how stories like this always end up, you know. Like you have females out there who have like easy births, you know what I mean? Like easy as can be, if that's what I'm saying. And then you have ones like this and it's just like, wow. There really is no one way to do this whole thing. And that's one thing that I learned a long time ago. I took, like I said, I think I said this before, I had a strange interest in childbirth and uh, women and, and women's issues like their periods, menopause and things like that. I had a very odd interest in it from an early age because I wanted to know what all the fuss was about. And it turns out there is a lot of uh, reasons to be pretty vocal, you know, about what goes on, but there's also a lot of reasons to shut up as well. And, you know, and I know some females will look at me and be like, Ugh, how can you say that easily? I just said it and I'll say it again a million more times. It's not about trying to be a dick to women, you know, it's just about, you know, one thing that I can't stand about men, some men, is that they'll seriously hide from women because of these things. I don't hide from nothing, okay? I won't be an asshole if I don't need to be, but I'm not hiding from no woman. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> nothing. I'm just saying what I feel, and then if I'm wrong, school me, and if I'm right, just understand it, and let's move on, you know? It's, it's that easy. But you know, man, this one was funny because uh, she kept adding all these gross little things in the middle of it that just made it more and more funny. Like when she said carne asada, I was like, man, she tried to make me not ever want to eat carne asada anymore. It's not going to work, okay? I'm an OG, you understand me? I handles mine. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> two, two, two dicks ain't <laughs> <laughs> that is a very gross uh, visual to have inside my head, but I would still want to see what it would look like just because I'm interested in gross stuff like that. I used to serve gore sites and all this, and all that stuff all the time, so I'm not squeamish at all. But um, yeah, man, it's just like really funny to know that you know someone can actually make this funny, and it's also horrific to know that things like that can actually happen, you know. But you know, I I, I always root for women to get what they need to get. But when she said that's why women need maternity leave, you know, I don't, you know, this is what I would do, right? If I'm, a, if I was a woman and I went through that, one, I would just not come back. And if you fired me or whatever like that, I would sue your ass. I mean, like, geez, there's a lot that needs to happen for things to get back to normal with a woman's body after childbirth. And the fact that no one would, and, and the fact that someone would actually do something to, like, punish a woman for that, like, her job is not safe or anything like that, I think that's wrong, Okay. Like, granted that I'm not a big fan of career women, you, uh, of career women, you know what I mean? It's not really a preference of mine, but if it's going to exist, man, let's handle it right. You know what I mean? Let's not be a bunch of, you know, asshole men about it. And then even asshole women, too, because there's a lot of women who never had children and they want to come down on women for this. <laughs> oh, man, traitors. <laughs> yeah, man, if dudes got their issues going on, I ain't bailing on my fellow man. I'm going to speak up for them, and ladies should speak up for each other, you know what I mean? Like a lot of y'all do. And I'll speak up for you in that regard myself, man, because, you know, yeah, stay at home, get your body back to where it needs to be, you know what I mean, and do whatever you need to, man. And if uh, I was the owner of a company, your job would be safe with me. I'm just letting y'all know. I don't own a business, so obviously I can't help y'all straight up. But uh, yeah, man, maternity leave would uh, definitely be necessary for that. So I'm not even going to hate on that. But very funny clip from Ali Wong, man. 
And uh, to all the women out there who are seeing this, who are thinking about saying something messed up to me, please don't. <laughs> I mean, you're probably going to anyway, but I don't mean any disrespect. I'm just here trying to enjoy the laughs, man, and point out things from my life that I think are relevant. And if you don't agree, just don't agree. But, you know, keep the nonsense out of my comments, please. All right, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right there. One more time. Ali Wong with uh, Keeping Your Taco Intact. I love that title, by the way. <laughs> And if you like that reaction, please pull up on the like button for me one more time. Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, as always, leave a nice comment for your boy. Constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or request, and uh, throw a couple zingers at your boy. Friendly dialogue, no drama here, all right? No drama here in my life, all right? Shout out Mary J. Blige. All right, man, this is going to be ADB TV signing off one more again here. Uh, another funny clip from Ali Wong and another one added to the Women's Wednesday of stand-up comedy playlist. And I was glad to get to it, you know. Um, I definitely got to get to uh, some clips from her new special that just came out recently. But um, yeah, I heard that was pretty funny as well. And I looked at a trailer for it and it seems like it's going to be pretty good. But we'll see what's up with it. Yeah, I heard that Ali Wong is going through a divorce right now from her husband. I don't know exactly why, and I'm not going to dive into it and talk about it because uh, it's not what I do. I'm not a gossip fritz like that. But uh, uh, whatever it is, I hope it uh, gets handled the right way. No drama, you know what I mean? Not a big fan of drama at all. But uh, we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, thank y'all for tuning in one more time to this one, man. And uh, I had a lot of fun getting to it. Ali Wong is one of the funniest female comedians doing it today. And uh, just one of the funniest comedians overall doing her thing, man. She's very funny. And uh, she knows how to get gross, but she knows how to get funny. And uh, that's the thing that matters the most. So, yeah, until next reaction, love and appreciate y'all. Peace.